This video goes over the basic trig functions for 30 degrees, 45 degrees, and 60 degrees. We'll go over the exact values for these six functions with these three angles, as well as go over how to find the approximate values. Keep in mind that the exact values for these three angles should be memorized and will make your life much easier when you take this class. Remember we talked about these three special angles, 30 degrees, 45 degrees, and 60 degrees. Let's start off by looking at our 30, 60, 90 triangle and start figuring out some of these values for our trigonometric functions. We'll begin with looking at 60 degrees. Now before we begin, let's think about in relation to 60 degrees what our sides are. Well the hypotenuse is easy, that's the longest side, that's of length 2. The opposite side is square root of 3, and the adjacent side is length 1. So our sine of x is opposite over hypotenuse. Well, now we're not talking about x anymore. Now we're talking about a specific angle, 60 degrees. So the sine of 60 degrees is the opposite over the hypotenuse, or the square root of 3 over 2, opposite over hypotenuse. Likewise, the cosine of 60 degrees is the adjacent over the hypotenuse, or 1 over 2. And the tangent is opposite over adjacent, or square root of 3 over 1. Or we can simply write that as square root of 3. The other three functions are handled the same way. The cosecant of 60 degrees is the hypotenuse over the opposite, or 2 over square root of 3. The secant of 60 degrees is equal to the hypotenuse over the adjacent leg, or 2 over 1. And the cotangent of 60 degrees is equal to the adjacent over the opposite, or 1 over square root of 3. If the problem, though, asks you to rationalize the denominator, then the cosecant of 60 degrees and the cotangent of 60 degrees have one more step to take care of. We need to get rid of that square root sign of the denominator. And to do that, we would multiply the numerator and the denominator by square root of 3. We would do that for both the cosecant of 60 degrees and the cotangent of 60 degrees, and we'd end up with rational denominators. Now remember, these are all exact answers. If I ask for an exact answer of cotangent of 60 degrees, you would answer square root of 3 over 3. Sometimes you are asked to give an approximation of the values, and then you would plug in the square roots in your calculator and round to the appropriate number of digits. Here are the approximations for sine, cosine, tangent, cosecant, secant, and cotangent of 60 degrees. Looking at 30 degrees, we can see that our opposite and adjacent sides are now going to be different. The side opposite 30 degrees is now 1, and the side adjacent to 30 degrees is square root of 3. So that's going to change our sine, cosine, tangent functions, as well as the other three. The sine is opposite of our hypotenuse, or 1 over 2. The cosine of 30 degrees will be now square root of 3 over 2, and the tangent of 30 degrees will be 1 over square root of 3. Our cosecant of 30 degrees is 2 over 1. Our secant of 30 degrees is 2 over square root of 3. And our cotangent, again, is adjacent over opposite, or square root of 3 over 1. Again, we could rationalize our denominators and get these exact values for cosine, sine, etc. of 30 degrees. We could also plug those into our calculators and come up with approximations of these special angles. We talked about 60 degrees, we talked about 30 degrees, so now there's the 45 degree angle left to talk about. To do so, let's bring up again our 1, 1 square root of 2 triangle. 45 degrees is a little bit easier because if you notice, it doesn't really matter which 45 degree angle I look at. If I take this 45 degree here, my opposite will be 1, and my adjacent will be also length 1. This 45 degrees, my opposite is 1, and my adjacent is also 1. So it really doesn't matter which of these two angles we look at. We'll look at this one down here, but again, it really doesn't matter. The sine of 45 degrees is the opposite over hypotenuse, or 1 over square root of 2. The cosine of 45 degrees is also 1 over square root of 2. And the tangent of 45 degrees is opposite over adjacent, or 1 over 1, or simply 1. The cosecant, 
the secant, and the cotangent of 45 degrees are all found the same way. And again, like the sine and cosine are the same, our cosecant and our secant are also the same because the opposite and adjacent legs happen to be the same length. They are both one. And the cotangent is the same as the tangent. Rationalizing the denominators, the sine of 45 degrees is square root of 2 over 2, as is cosine of 45 degrees. And if we wanted to round these numbers, then we find sine of 45 degrees and cosine of 45 degrees equaling 0 0.707, and the rest of the numbers are listed there. Here is a table of the exact trig values for 30 degrees, 45 degrees, and 60 degrees. As I said, it's very useful if you can have these memorized. I generally regenerate them each time by drawing the 30, 60, 90 triangle and the 45, 45, 90 triangle, or you can simply memorize this table. And that describes the basic trigonometric functions for the three angles, 30 degrees, 45 degrees, and 60 degrees. You should have the exact values for these three angles for all six trigonometric functions memorized, and also be able to find the approximate values for these six functions.